How's it going everybody? Hypnotic here. Welcome back to another Smash related video. And today I'm going to be talking about another 4chan link that I came across. Now I know that we go through a lot of 4chan links and just leaks in general, and we find that most of them to be fake. So, I'm just going to just give you a disclaimer right now that this could most likely be fake. But you know what, I'm going to get into this and be and just give it the benefit of the doubt, and let's see where it takes us, and hopefully we'll actually get a true one. Before we get into this completely, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell to be notified every single time that there's a new video out. And without further ado, let's get right into this leak. Now this post comes from 4chan and it reads something like this. I have contact with people who work at directly at like Nintendo of Europe. That's why my English is a little bit e because it's not my main language and it seems like they know the rest of the DLC for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I heard from my source time ago that Joker was one of the DLC characters. I thought at the time that it was fake character only to bait like leakers, but now he is confirmed, so others, the other four that they told me must be at least one right, assuming that the rest are to bait leakers. The characters are Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I heard that maybe Nintendo will announce him in a direct alongside the announcement of Kingdom Hearts 3 or, but I'm not sure. Sans from Undertale. Yeah, me. I think that this is a bait, but my sources told me about that Nintendo wanted to really surprise people this time. Microsoft rep. My source did not specify which one it will be. It could be anyone from Banjo to Master Chief. And finally, Kratos from God of War. Yet yeah, same as Sans, maybe it's fake or they really want to surprise so much. I think the Sora and the Microsoft rep are in and Sans and Kratos are a bait, but even my sources aren't sure. Remember, if you don't trust me or believe me, just ignore me. See you at the next Nintendo Direct. Now that we've co covered this whole leak and everything, let's talk about it. So first up, I would like to say that Joker, this person says that they knew who Joker was at the time, and they just, they thought, they knew he was going to be there, but they thought it was kind of a thing to bait leakers, so, I mean, but he had the information. So that according to him that is so this could be true or not true and it probably isn't but it, he could have been he could be telling the truth and could have actually had this information at the time and just not said anything so perhaps maybe he's just coming out with it just so that people can know that these are possibly some of the next DLC characters to come he did mention that Sora could have been or is might be in a Nintendo Direct, when every when everybody's basically not expecting it, when it's when they're gonna have a Kingdom Hearts 3 port, which I'm not too sure about because, as far as I know, um, the Square Enix rep uh, will not be Sora because he's owned by Disney, and so I I don't know anything about any. I just don't understand this, and I don't really believe it anymore. So yeah. Um, and if you guys haven't watched my video, it's uh, basically saying that Sora is not Square Enix, but that he is um, that he is Disney owned. So there would be no chance in him making it as a Microsoft rep. I mean, what am I saying? Square Enix rep. My bad. I I'm just so my head's kind of in the clouds right now. I just. I'm not thinking too straight, but yeah, yeah, there's a video on it, and if you'd like to go check it out, I mean, it's one of my most recent videos, um, maybe five videos ago, so you can go check it out on my channel. But yeah, he said that they would ha they'd probably be having him at the Nintendo Direct for for that. Uh, again, he doesn't know for sure. He says that it could have been just something he his sources don't know for sure exactly, and mind you, his sources don't know for sure if any of these characters are real or if they're just to bait out leakers, in which case they can fire them from Nintendo and then they can stop leaking it all together, even though a lot of these leaks aren't true. Next up on the list we have Sans from Undertale. Now that wouldn't, that would be kind of cool and honestly it would be very possible at this moment in time. After all, he did just get his own his own space on the Nintendo Switch, which I find really interesting because I've never seen any game that is like that, that started off on the internet, getting their own space on the Switch. But that's really cool. I would love to see that happen. Um, and yeah, uh, I think that it's very possible. 
the next person we're going to be talking about today is the Microsoft rep. Now we already know that the Microsoft rep is probably not going to happen, or if it does happen, it's going to be someone that we aren't expecting. But Nintendo is being kind of weird right now, so I have no idea what the heck is going to happen. Um, I would like to say though that it would be really cool to get a character like Banjo Kazooie. Um, I've been wanting to see something like that for quite some time now. At first, I wasn't quite for it, but ever since I kind of let go of the Geno thing, then I've noticed that there are lots of other characters that are way more iconic, and that could be such a cool, uh, such a cool addition to the game roster. And last we have on the list is Kratos. Now, I do not believe any of that is true at all. Kratos, um, I don't. He, uh, he he comes from a game where it's just really graphic from what I remember and it just doesn't seem like Nintendo would do something like that. Of course, it was, they did with Bayonetta and Snake, they made them both in, but that does not mean that Kratos can get in because Kratos is, from, in my opinion, a very bad pick considering even though that would represent I think Sony I think he's owned by Sony I don't remember for sure but I know he's on PlayStation so I'm just gonna leave it at that he it he just doesn't seem like smash material honestly he just seems like one of those characters that will be only for PlayStation games or for Xbox games so that is just, that's just my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and if you think that any of these characters have a chance to get in at all. And guys, don't forget to check out my social media. They're gonna be linked down in the description below. I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram. You guys just you guys can go ahead and check it out. Um, it's really cool. I haven't posted a whole lot on there, but that is going to change. Um, as of today, as, as I, as you might see when you get there, that I already, um, I already posted something about my video popping up. So yeah, just be sure to check it out, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, have a good one, guys.